partnerships, bonds, unions. You can do whatever it is that you want to do. But down the road, at some time, you're going to need to partner with somebody. How do I do it? Who do I partner with? Why should I even partner with anyone in the first place? Do partnerships just fall out the sky from thin air like fate? Well, this week, they definitely will. Whether they fall out the sky or whether they're existing partnerships that evolve and take a new direction, these are decisions that you will have to make and will impact your entire life. So, are you sure that the decision you're going to make is even founded on the right influences? We do have energy that is forcing you to actually be your most authentic self while making sure your ambitions are serious and making sure you truly believe in what you're passionate about. You're not just believing it, well, just because other people forced you to. The reason Libra represents balance and partnerships is because it takes the personality and character of who you are and integrates it with somebody else who has to integrate the personality and lifestyle that they live. How can you balance both polarities when it's not about just you anymore? It's not about you, Libra. It's not about you. Remember, the North Node is going to finally leave Libra. This means that all the karmic connections done behind the scenes and in front of your eyes are officially done. And as it moves into Virgo, we're getting ready for real work and for these real partnerships to manifest what they're truly worth. The importance of being completely honest with these partnerships is remembering that the square to Pluto, the planet of death that we're going to have, is making these partnerships you enter so profoundly transformative. When I do say your life will be changed, it's bigger than you. And now you're given a chance to really pioneer a new direction with somebody or some people who have like-minded ambition. Another important thing to remember and be conscious of is that as we are in Libra, we are also making an opposition to Uranus and Aries. This is forcing you within these partnerships to communicate the wilder, radical side of you. Not to affirm or assert this on other people, but to bring it up in the air. Now you're not hiding it. Even if you do try and hide it, <laughs> it will crop up anyway. So be open, be real, be authentic, be you. If any of this is getting too complicated, here's what you need to remember. Make sure the partnerships you enter are what you really, really, really want to invest your time, energy, and focus in. Know that those partnerships will change your life forever and get ready to work your ass off. So for the fire tribe watching this, if you're in Aries, this new moon in Libra is going to bless you with definitive and powerful partnerships. If you're a Leo watching this, this new moon in Libra is going to so fine tune your attitude and you're going to be able to express yourself in partnerships more bold. If you're a Sagittarius, this new moon in Libra will help guide you in partnerships that influence your friendships and the communities you're in. If you're a Taurus watching this, this new moon in Libra is going to so very well teach you how these new partnerships affect and influence your behavior and lifestyle. If you're a Virgo watching this, this new moon in Libra is going to so much Open your mind into the value and worth you have based on the partnerships you have. If you're a Capricorn, this new moon in Libra is going to open up new doors in career and give you a new legacy, give you a new reputation based on the people you're partnering with. For the Air Tribe, if you're a Gemini, hey, it's now your turn. Go away. Anyway, if you're a Gemini, this new moon in Libra is going to open up your heart 
and partnerships are going to expand and develop your creativity. If you're a Libra, why? You're the face of this new moon. And this new moon is going to actually have you embody and teach the rest of us how your individual identity influences the partnerships around you. Make sure you assert what you want, not what other people want. And if you're an Aquarius, this new moon in Libra is going to help develop a new philosophy around how the partnerships you are in really influence your collective mindset and really help you believe in relationships. And finally, for the wider tribe, if you're a Cancer, this new moon in Libra is going to help you reach a new level of comfort and self-esteem brought forth from knowing what partnerships you truly feel at home in. If you're Scorpio, this new moon in Libra is going to show you how you let partnerships subconsciously affect you. And if you are a Pisces, this new moon in Libra is going to teach you how you let partnerships transform you and how you draw the right emotional boundaries with those you're in partnerships with. The topic of partnerships is going to be covered in our webinar at the end of the month. But I want to leave you guys with this. Make sure that the partnerships you invest in, you are passionate about. Because if you aren't passionate about it, you're wasting your time and that person's time. But if you are, you can make magic happen.